with I am therefore iPad.com and I'm continuing my series on the best city apps for the iPhone 4s so my next application is gonna be really dealing with protecting your apps and the first in this app is called app lock so you can find that here app locker excuse me app locker is 99 cents in the city of store and it does exactly what the name says it allows you to lock apps so you set up a password in settings and you see my settings is locked and so I have to put in my password okay so settings scroll down app lock again it's protected and there's uh, various things that you can do you can turn it on and off you can set the type of uh, entry you can have a reset password phrase you can lock folders and, uh, folders is very interesting uh, because you have to specify the name of the folder and initially I thought well that's that's pretty wacky uh, but obviously the way iOS works is kind of hard to determine to be able to reach out and pick which things are actual folders versus just regular apps but the nice thing is if you have several uh, folders with the same name it will lock all of those at the same time uh, so very interesting so let's just take a look at that in action so you saw I had a folder called jailbreak that was locked so you see I have two one on the top left one on the top right if I click on either one you see their their password protected so I would have to put in my password before I can go into either one so the first one is password protected now, the thing I do want to mention about password protecting a folder, uh, you can still get around that because uh, let's just look at this first one again. You see, I have um, Cydia, okay, and so instead of instead of going there, I can go into Cydia a different way, either by getting the spotlight and typing in Cydia or accessing it through the multi uh, media or the launch pad at the bottom of the device so even though it locks it you may want to lock the actual application so you can lock applications inside of a folder as well so just keep that in mind locking a folder doesn't necessarily lock the everything that's in it and so how do you lock it? it's pretty simple uh, but if you get it into wiggle mode and you'll notice settings is locked messages is locked and my email is locked so you see the red lock indicator and so whatever you want to lock say you want to lock the app store so that your kids can't get in there and buy things even if you know because they may have your password why give them the opportunity to even look so it's asking me it says the app store is unlocked enter your password to lock it okay and so now you see the red lock is now locked. So if we get out of the wiggle mode, we can test that. So if I go on the app store, it's now locked. Okay? So that app, app locker takes care of that 99 cents, well worth the buck. The next one is called, okay, go here. The next one is called Fast Clear. Fast Clear is very simple. Tweak the notifications. If you pull that down, you'll you'll build up, you know, things on the uh, notification thing. And typically, you have an X, and then you have to press the X, and then it gives you a clear. And you got to keep going through that. Well, with fast clear it just has the word clear there and I can just simply click that and it clears it so very simple app though when you have a whole bunch up there that is just perfect the next application or 
Uh, I'm going to stop pulling it up <laughs> eventually. The next one is called Lock Screen High Clock or Lock Screen Clock High. And just like it says, if I go to my lock screen, here's my lock screen. There's no clock you can see at the top. Okay? So, if that's something you want to do, that free app or that free tweak in the City of Store lets you do exactly that. The next one is Mirror Widget. Very neat application. No matter where you are, you know you can go to notifications. And of course. Okay. And you see the section in the center. I can tap that. It's going to be kind of dark in here. But see, I need to check, make sure I don't have any um, foreign objects or, you know, whatever I need to do. I got a quick little mirror there. And you can uh, tap it to take a picture for whatever reason. And I'm not sure why it's, uh, there it goes. You can double click on it and it'll switch to the back camera. Okay, so very simple app called Mirror Widget. SB status bar, SB hidden status bar. Very simple tool. As you can see on this screen, I have my status bar at the top, but when I'm on the SB, which stands for your springboard, you see the no status bar here. So when I'm here taking a look and going between apps, there's no status but if I go into an app say like my email or whatever you see I have the status bar back okay so very simple application or tweak the next one is called shrink shrink lets you shrink your icon so you see on the screen my letters can get smaller my icons can get smaller kind of hard to tell here I'll, I'll put one of these things down closer to the uh, bottom of the screen because the icons in the tray is actually bigger than the, the normal one so you can shrink and change things whatever you want to whatever size you can hide as you can see in my dock that I don't have the names because I know what those apps are I use them all the time I don't need to have the names there uh, I can hide that so you can change the size of the icon change the eyes of the text all these different things which shrink and I can't remember the cost is probably $1.99 or so uh, I like that app and you just saw me move that photos folder to where I wanted to put it I can stage these however I wanted to see that and how that is possible is by a tweak called Gridlock. So Gridlock, and that's here, Gridlock 199 allows you to, you know, place your folders and icons anywhere on the screen. So with a theme that I have, like this one here, you see I have a clock in the center, lower center. And I have a pictures at the top, so I don't want icons covering those things up. So Gridlock allows me to put my folders and apps in such a arrangement that it doesn't disrupt with the look that I want on my springboard or home screens. Okay. And the next one is called Switcher Sense. It used to be called Simplexity. Now it's called Switcher Sense. And it is really nice. Um, instead of double clicking and pulling up the Apple's normal uh, multitasking bar or recently accessed apps, you, you, this comes up instead. And I can kill things by sliding to kill. Or I can simply go, I can slide this whole thing to the left. And then I have some options here. I can change my brightness. Okay, I can play my music, I can see what, what my Wi-Fi status is, and I can change the sound and switch to my Apple TV and or, or those type of things or external speakers. But you also see a kill all. So I can do that and simply kill all the applications that were running. 
So if I pull that back up, there's no other apps running. Okay? But one thing I did want to uh, bring to your attention, again, you saw that everything is locked, right? These particular things are locked. But a nice feature of App Locker I neglected to mention is that if you if you set it up where it knows which Wi-Fi's you connect to that you consider safe, so I'm here at home. I should be able to go into my stuff without being locked out. So if I click on jailbreak now, I don't need a password. Go to settings. I don't need a password. Okay, man. Not sure why he's taking forever now. Okay, don't need a password. Go to my mail. Don't need a password because I have told this app locker program that when I'm on my Wi-Fi, I think that's an advance or more. See here, identify so you can. Put in your your up to two Wi-Fi networks here. Enable that, and whenever I connect to my Wi-Fi, I immediately have access to my apps and and uh, folders without having to type in the password. So if I turn my Wi-Fi off and go to jailbreak, see that now you need a password. So it's a very neat uh, feature. Also, I did want to mention there's a uh, SBS setting thing for app lock you see in the lower left here uh, to be able to turn that on or off say I might be somewhere I know I'm going to be working for a while I don't want to have to keep putting in my password I can just quickly turn that off and on and that will do it for this very long <laughs> look at the best city apps for the iPhone 4s this is Carl Brooks with I am there for iPad.com saying I'll see you on the web.